So in our first example of Solid Edge ST5 thermal loads, we're going to take a look at temperature loads. And so here we have just a, uh, a stainless steel bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a temperature on one end. And you'll notice that when you do a temperature load, it will apply to a face, edge corner, point, or an entire feature. And one thing to point out about the, uh, a temperature load is it is a constant load. Uh, and so, honestly, there's no direction to it. It just applies that temperature, uh, specific temperature. In this case, I'm going to key in 50 uh, centigrade. And you'll notice that there's no directional value. You do get a graphic feedback with a thermometer that shows that there's a temperature value applied to the face, but there's no directional value with this particular uh, type of load. At any time it's, uh, you apply one, it's going to show you that there's a temperature load under the load's value. And if you want, you can double click just like other um, loads and it's going to allow you to go in and make any type of changes if you want. Of course with all of these new loads you have the same things as, as we had in ST4 where you can change the symbol size, um, you can also show a label, and you can change the color uh, of these symbols as well. So with a temperature of 50 degrees or 50 centigrade uh, set on one end we'll go ahead and solve this. Now the thing to point out here is there's no time value in the equation, uh, so the results are going to show uh, show uh, this temperature at its thermal, what we call thermal equilibrium. Meaning that if you set a temperature at one end, there's not going to be a whole lot of change. It's pretty much going to set the whole bar at uh, at the same temperature, and you can see that it's it's pretty close. It's within one degree. Now, if we come back and we decide that well this side's 50 centigrade so let's set a temperature on the opposite side and let's set it at 100 centigrade and then rerun our analysis and you can see I've got both temperatures in here and solve now one end is set at 50 constant uh, value and the other end is set at a constant value of 100 and so you can see that through conduction, um, the hot side is going to cool off going toward the center, and of course the cool side is going to warm up. Uh, so if we bring up the probe, obviously we would expect 50 on one end, and we would expect, you know, 90 or almost 100. I'm getting the back, getting the insides there. I'm not getting the ends. Let's see. There's our 50. There's our 100. And then, of course, as it gets toward the center, it's going to equal out. So uh, it kind of gives you a, a feedback as to how, as you set a temperature, that temperature is always constant, and it's always going to show it at its... Um, at its, uh, you know, thermal equilibrium. So, you know, when when the when it's at its equilibrium, this is what it, the results will look like setting a temperature. Now, another example of this, I have a different file open, and this is kind of an example of a wall, if you will, with uh, some uh, some with a block sticking. It actually runs all the way through, but it sticks out on each side. You could consider this uh, a wall, where on one side I have it set at 10 degrees centigrade, and on the other side I have it set at 30 degrees centigrade. And if we go to look at the results, you'll notice that uh, as we, again, use the probe, here's our 10 degrees, where we set the, the wall at 10 degrees, and uh, through conduction, if we go to this protrusion, you'll notice that it actually uh, warms up a little bit to 13.6 degrees uh, centigrade. On the opposite side, where it's its hottest, which is set at 30 degrees centigrade, this side also tends to cool down as it gets away from that, that wall that's set at 30 degrees. So one side heats up a little bit uh, on this end, and on this side uh, it cools down a bit. 
just to kind of show you how those results uh, pan out using uh, temperature. So with that, that kind of gives you an idea of how temperature works. Again, remember, it's a constant value. If you set a face at 10 degrees centigrade, it stays at 10 degrees centigrade. Um, and we will, this concludes this particular uh, quick demonstration.